All right, good morning folks and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at how you can make a very, very, very simple pipe bomb base with little to no resources used if for the first Horde Knight and of course for every Horde Knight because this setup is so damn powerful. So simply just to show off the base real quick here, uh, the zombies will walk right up here. Think that they can get to you, you will stand over here. Uh, since this is tips, they think they can just go right pa right through there to you and they will fall down. They will pull up over here, you throw a couple of pipe bombs and that is it. Really, really simple. And we're only level 11 here and that is all you need. Um, <clears throat> very quickly over the build here, I uh, got 5 points in perception and 3 points in demolitions expert. And you do this mostly because you want the additional damage, but you also do it because you can make fission gunpowder stacks. So that's going to make it way easier to do this. Of course, you do need a chem station. We will go into that a little bit later. And uh, to complement this build really quickly, really simply, um, I've just put two points in minus 69er and two points in six or Trinosaurus. Uh, of course, two levels, two, two points in strength in order to unlock those. But uh, this is this is gonna make you give you some melee prowess while you while you're you know gathering the resources you need. Plus you can also mine. So what I've done here that this build would be excellent with a like a fire axe build or pickaxe build. You you can make that work. You can, you can do a claw hammer build and it does work. And I've put one point into advanced engineering, and this is just to unlock the forge immediately. Uh, to complement your minus 69er so that you can unlock the iron tools and start using that as a melee weapon uh, of course also get into uh, to mining so th that's what you need of course to to get the gunpowder you need to be able to make the pipe bombs all right here we are right next to the base I'm just gonna show you real quick how to make this so it is just a five by seven all right there we go there we have a five by seven of course, you don't have to make it this size, but it's a very convenient size, not too big, not too small. So you're using very little resources, but it's still good enough to last throughout the entire the entire playthrough, really. You don't have to make it bigger than this. Um, so you need to make the whole structure six blocks tall, and since this is standing on the one block, so it's just going to go five blocks right up. All right, so you want to make it six tall. Um, the main reason for that is that you saw it right there. Uh, if you are dropping six blocks, you will never take damage. Um, so six blocks is ideal for any sort of pillar base, in my opinion. You just don't ever want to go be above that. As soon as you go to seven blocks, uh, you're going to start taking damage and getting sprained legs. You don't want that. So... Ideally, you don't want to be higher than this, but you can of course be lower than this, but the reason is just this is the maximum height of the main building. Um, if you want to go into the late game, you of course want to, you want to remove this floor and you want to dig down instead. Because uh, you want it to be lower down because cops can still snipe you, you don't want that. So, six tall is ideal. So we're just going to add the stairwell to it. Of course, you can just add the stairwell right to it, but I like to do a little a little bridge. Um, it is important that you do ramps as well because you want the, uh, the zombies to get into the pit as soon as possible, as fast as possible. You don't want to have them waste time jumping. All right, so now over to the walls. That actually makes them fall in. So you want this thing called the, the wedge tip. You want to go into hold R and go into advanced. Put that upside down against the wall. This is one of those blocks that is pretty broken at the moment. Um, we'll see if the, the pimps ever change these. Uh, the, the zombies see this as a completely walkable block. And if you leave it like this, they will walk on it. But the idea is to put a half block on top of it. So the zombies still believe they can walk on it. But, you know, the half block is there so they can't. That is the whole idea of tricking them into the pit. Ideal height for this as well is just two blocks because that will fit every zombie. There will be no jumping zombies or anything like that. All right, so the zombies will come up here. Of course, this won't be like this. Um, when you think about it now, you could you could make this a lot shorter. I mean, you, you don't have to have it five wide. 
you can probably just get away with three if you do uh, plates on the side, which is also another tip for if you want to strengthen your pit, you want to just put plates on the sides here. But honestly, it's not needed. Uh, if you get to reinforce concrete here in the end game and then eventually steel, uh, you're going to be fine. You don't have to worry. All right, so for th for them to funnel properly, you want to uh, build up the pillars here on the side. Of course, you don't want them pathing this way. Uh, so you just want to fill that up like that. So for them to funnel better, you want to do these uh, slits right here. No, that's slits. Uh, tips. These tips right there, you can make it. That's not needed, but just so it makes it look a little bit better. So now the zombies will just straight up path to you, even though you stand over there. You don't have to worry about it. And what I like to do is get some frames here. Like, you can have different entrances, but this is just simply how I like to do it. Now you can just make a jump and you get in. Um, I'll also show you a variant of how you can turn this into an all-in-one base. I'll do that as well. All right, since we are approaching the Horde Knight here, I'm just going to show you how to use less than 20 pipe bombs in one Horde Knight. It is just the first Horde Knight. My game stage is 20. It's not the highest, but I'll also show uh, later as well how that's going to go. But of course, before that, there's a couple of things you want to have upgraded, uh, such as the ramp. You can't really skimp out on that. You need to make sure that the ramp is nice and clean. Uh, do the slits right there not the slits the dip, the the tips and of course the most important one is the second and third row those are the ones you care about you don't really care about the the bottom one you're fine well so far i have used um a solid i want to say 250 blocks maybe um and i've used about 300 cobblestone flagstone costs for cobblestone so that is about, oh, about a thousand plus that whatever I use now so that's around 1500 the point is that it's very cheap 1500 cobblestone is insanely easy to get within the first couple of days uh, you could just of course get clay and stone uh, which you you're gonna do mining anyway to get gunpowder uh, but um, you can just get those uh, blue bags right and also the the trader sometimes sells like a thousand cobblestone for like a, a hundred dukes so it is extremely easy to get this and uh well yeah that's about it that's the gist of it that's that's really all you need to have upgraded of course you're not gonna have a nail gun now just pretend that that's a stone stone axe all right i got everything here uh, one more thing of course uh this wet concrete block it's not really needed but it's a nice way to stop uh spiders uh, this block unfortunately doesn't exist as a cobblestone block um, so if you can get your hands on a mixer that'd be great but of course what you can do very simply you can just put a slit right here and that's all I'm gonna do right now just to show you uh, something to stop the spiders and you can still see clearly when they get through there so the alternative is to take you know this this thing right here this is honestly just like a little design choice. It's, a, it's not actually needed now that I think about it. So, I think it just looks nice, but you absolutely don't need it. All right, so the slits are very important just so you see it when they come up and the spiders can't get in. All right, let's show the Horde Knight. All right, there we are. They're spawning all over the place. This is, by the way, 32 zombies and insane, insane difficulty with 32 zombies. So, it's not absolute maximum, but, yeah, it still gives you the idea how it works. So, the zombies are funneling down very nicely. Uh, you want to wait for the, for all the zombies to get into the pit before you throw anything else. So, you can see right now, there are no zombies spawning outside. So, all you do is just throw one, two, and you light the third one. Oh, get back in there. Ah. Oh, he died. Okay, fine. And that's that's the idea. That's the idea. It's that simple. So you just wait for the next... This is not the next wave, but it's the next group of zombies. Because that was the maximum amount of zombies being that can be alive at the same time. So you just keep on doing this. This is, this is by far the cheapest way to deal with Horde Knight. 
All right, everyone's in. Whoops, sorry. Throw two more. Of course, you want to light the last one, not the first one. <laughs> Um, and of course, you don't want to sit exposed like this. Just, you know, build a little cage for you. You know, do your own design. The point is that they can't get to you this way. This is a very nice entrance to, to your base. Yeah. See, they are piling up. This is the main reason why you want the third row. You you may want... The, oh, yeah. That's a good point. You may want the fourth row as well. But honestly, for this Horde Knight, you don't have to worry about it. They're not going to smash that. Right? You can probably get away with three, now that I think about it. Whoops, that was bad. Oh, they all died. Yeah, it's got pretty good AoE, so you don't really have to worry about being super precise with those hits. Of course, while we're waiting for the other zombies, I can also show you it's a good idea to do like a pull here. So you don't accidentally fall in, uh, like this. Uh, you may th think that this will like confuse their pathing, it won't. Of course, it's going to be a little trickier. I, I, I'll also show you how to do like a funnel here uh, with the pipe bombs. It's very nice. Oops. Eight pop. We've, we've only used 12 pipe bombs so far. And you may now see a very clear pattern on how to do things. Um, just make sure to upgrade everything as much as you possibly can. But this still shows you how simply you can make deal with the first one. If I pop up, okay, still one more wave. This should be the last one. Um, I'll, I'll do a test and just throw two pipe bombs. You may just really need two pipe bombs. You probably just need two pipe bombs. I, I, I think I actually used too many pipe bombs. All right, they're all in. Let's just use two. Yeah, that was that was enough. You only need two pipe bombs per per wave or per group, really. Okay, now it's kind of clear that you kind of want the lower as well, but the very lowest to be cobblestone too. Okay, I think that was the last zombies. That was it. I used 19 pipe bombs. I could have easily have used way less. I could probably have gotten away with just using 15. Uh, because you only need to use two pipe bombs with every round. Of course, something I need to note as well. Uh, if you can get your hands to some atom junkies, that is brilliant. Uh, if you do this, you only need to do uh, one pipe bomb for a whole wave. Uh, you may not even have to get into pipe bomb crafting at this point. Also, uh, a lot of the tier 1 quests uh, can give you 20 pipe bombs, which is very worth it. So you, of course, want to smash out as many tier 1s as possible uh, in order to get a stack of it. So you don't actually have to get into mining. But, alright, let's move on. I'm going to show some more Horde Knights. But, of course, before that, I need to also show you uh, where you can get, you know, gunpowder early on. Because you can make gunpowder on you, but it costs quite a bit. So there's a reason you want to do Demolitions Expert, get the ex Explosives Handler, and get the efficient gunpowder stacks. It's just because you can cram out so much more. Now this is not super important for the first horde, but it will be more important later on. So you want that chem station. You, you need it. And uh, you can of course, if you're lucky, and find a beaker, you can unlock Intern here and get... Uh, the chemistry station. But what I like to do is just to look for it. It's quite common in the world if you know where to look. I've put some X's down here just to show uh, a couple of locations. Uh, just in these two towns, really. Um, of course, first thing here, we have the chemistry station. There's about a 25% chance this is this is working or not. Uh, so you always want to check this one first. So make sure to do your starting quest so you can get here. But as you're doing the tier 1s here, there's a lot of tier 1 quests that will actually lead to chemistry stations. Such as this building. I didn't put an X there, but it's this building right here. This is essentially the meth lab. Uh, it has a chance of having it. Uh, right here. Now, of course, this isn't working. Uh, like, like I said, it's always a 25% chance. So, one in, 1 in 4, you should find one. 
All right, another one is this POI, which is also a tier one quest. It is, uh, I'm not sure exactly what this one is called. It's it's in the basement right here of, of, of where the main loot is. Now, this is also not working, but you get the point. You just need to look for these. Uh, there's a couple of more over here. This is one of the, uh, one of the, the passing gas. It's in right in the back here. Of course, that isn't working. Uh, it's just this passing gas. There's a lot of passing gases these days, but, uh, this is the one to look out for. It's got that green, uh, bit right here. It is actually one of the remakes of the old passing gases. That was, that's been in the game for ages. So make sure to look for that is if there's anything in the back. All right, of course. And then this is also a, another one. This is not a tier one. I think this is tier three, but this one is in the, uh, it's in the lab in the back here. Yeah. So of course this isn't working either. I'm getting horrible RNG right now. Um. Uh, uh, there is another tra you can always find other traders of course, but this is a little longer down the line So this is probably you probably won't find this but of course you have that in here at Bob's uh, It's also not working Ugh, Typical well, those are a couple of different POIs that can have it But of course like I said, you don't have to have them you can of course also just you know, talk to the traders and see if they have any gunpowder, which they will have quite often. Now, th this is not a lot of gunpowder, but it may be enough to scramble together a couple of pipe bombs to get started. Same thing with the cobblestone. Uh, they usually have like half a stack of cobblestone. Now, he Maybe didn't have that, time. but it's very common. So, I found another passing gas here that's exactly the same. And let's try this one. And yes, that one does work. So one in about seven now worked uh that is incredibly bad odds but just keep on looking for that and uh, you definitely want to have one for day 14 because you're gonna need a few more pipe bombs not too many though depending on how many atom junkies you have so definitely make sure to buy a couple of these they last for five minutes and the horde night is if you play on default settings is 15 minutes so if you have three of these uh, that's all you need. So make sure to check all the vending machines when when you're doing quests and stuff. I think that showed off a couple of things with that. Sure, now it's been seven days and I haven't leveled anything. Just to prove my point, I'm gonna not level anything else and just see how it goes. What I'm gonna have though is a couple of atom junkies. So I'm gonna get three of those just to buff up. And I'm gonna give myself... Uh, two stacks of pipe bombs this time. Also, one more thing. Uh, I will, of course, repair and, uh, get some more cobblestone. I still believe I don't need concrete. I'm just gonna add some extra little bit of redundancy here. There we are. Alright, so we fully do expect some birds this time. So I'm gonna make a little sort of cage area here. So... Uh, the way I also like to build bases, now, I, I suppose it's a very good idea, uh, opportunity to give you a, a little rundown on how I like to build my bases, is that I like to build my bases in segments of 7x7s. Seven seven. That's also a reason why I made it 7x5. So what I usually do then is that I like to put another pillar right here. All right, so now I kind of like even it out to a seven by seven. Exactly, so it was the right length all along. So just add on top of that, add on top of that. So now because we do that, we have now made a perfect square of seven by seven. And how I like to do this, I just like to add segments of seven by seven. So I'll just add another row here so there's five in between like that you make it six tall because that's the ideal height just add to it and of course you don't this is this is only if you have ex the extra resources to spare but like I mentioned this is incredibly easy to get and you know that so simple as that now you have like a sort of a base area so I also love to do uh, 
perfectly square bases, even though this won't be in the middle. I mean, I can still make a perfectly square base, but what I like to do, I just like to add a little bit of a... Like, my main base will actually be just on the side of it. So this makes for a very nice 13 by 13, which is the ideal sort of dimensions I love to build my bases in. Of course, you can make this uh, perfectly square and make this in the middle by putting additional two more segments here and then another row of segments. And these segments are, of course, the 7x7. Seven seven. So in total, that will be a 19x19. 19 19. But of course, this is just a design choice I like to go with. Uh, this is completely up to you. You don't have to do any of that. So... I just keep on building up the, uh, the the walls like this, and you just fill that in with a with a roof and everything. And you know that this is your main pillar in the middle. That was a little bit off on that, <laughs> like that. And of course, you can double up here just to be extra safe. You can just fill this in. Uh, what I like to do, I like to keep this as a the entrance to the base. Uh, it doesn't look great, but you can absolutely make that work. We're just adding uh, like a tunnel right here. But we've I've done some testing with this, and this b makes the base a little delicate if you actually want to have an opening right here. Uh, because they, they love doors, right? Zombies love doors. So this may pose uh, a little bit of a challenge. But it does work. But you have to make it... You have to make it a fully upgraded vault door. But this is... This is just for, like, late game. Because I, I really I really do like the idea of having the entrance to your base being the same entrance that the zombies take. Uh, but you have to make two doors like that. And the this block, believe it or not, this block right here cannot be uh high it can't be steel. If this block is steel they'll just path to the door. So it's very important that this these walls right here aren't steel. They don't they don't ever need to be steel. So you don't have to worry about it. But this is just an idea of how you could your late game bases could look like. Yeah. So as we saw right there, that there, there is sort of course a slight little bit of a downside to that so what you also could do is you could put the door a little higher like a little further in uh, and to make sure that that's wait actually no I take that back put the door right there no actually what you do you do this you move this the slits further in like that not this the, yeah this the, the tips damn it do like that. And now it looks a lot better. And they will also like slide off that. So you can upgrade this all the way to reinforced concrete as long as you're not... As long as you're not overdoing it with steel because that will really mess up the zombies. Now, this doesn't have to be a slit at all. But I think this... I like the look of this. I, li I like the idea of it. So there you have it. You can have all your, your, your loot here and everything. It's completely fine. Uh, but if you want to be extra safe, just like pad this wall right here with, with more stuff. All right, let's do the Horde Knight. All right, so I'm going to eat these three junkies. Of course, I'm probably going to be getting some vultures on me right now. Uh, because I didn't actually finish the roof. But you just so you know, you can, you can for the idea of it. And you want to put some spikes just right above. Yeah. Alright, we're getting some doggies this time. Of course, make sure to ev everybody get in. We're gonna have a real party here. Two is probably more than enough, especially now with the candies. It sure is. It sure was. 
All right, just next wave. Look out for birds, but of course, don't be exposed like this. And to avoid uh, comps being able to spit at you at this point, which I will show you later. We'll, we'll probably do like a day 70 of this as well. Uh, we want to dig down to so they go down additionally like six blocks or so just to be safe. You can go down even further to even give them uh, fall damage. You can go down about 25 blocks if you really want to min max. But honestly, it's I think that's pretty pretty unnecessary. Oh, first bird. Of course, put, put spikes right above you and you're fine. Um, I'm also going to show you right, real quick here. Holy wait, wait. You, you want to do like a little funnel here. So you can do a tip, a wedge tip right here. Right there. Still can't fall down, but it's easy to throw. Especially the deeper it goes, you definitely want something like this. So you have more throw space. Uh, they did actually get through now, so... Maybe you do have to get concrete at this stage. But they don't have time to do much damage. Of course, if you have a lot of pipe bombs, you don't even have to wait. Like, if you don't care about the budget of the base, you can just keep throwing pipe bombs down. And just make sure that they can do as little damage as possible. I actually only need one pump bob because Adam Adam Junkies is just so powerful. Adam Junkies and level three perception, and I could have like I could be level twenty right now. And I could even put more points in the perception to even add more damage. Uh, this this door is even open. <laughs> it's not supposed to be open. You want to close that. Very nice. They actually broke through now, so yeah, I don't recommend just sticking to cobblestone. Although, funny thing is, oh, they they will try, they will loop around now. Okay, so that was a mistake. Do at least one row of concrete, even if it's not a lot to buy it. Uh, but at day fourteen, you should have access to a mixer or at least some concrete to so just do like a little row there. Uh, just because we're testing, I'm just gonna fill this in with the wedge tips. Like that. It's just so we can keep going here. I didn't do. I didn't fully test this. I just. I just went out. Went ahead of it. Went ahead with it because I. I was fully confident that this would work. But of course, one row of concrete is all you need, so they can't get out. And as you notice, this, they seem to love that wall. So you only really have to upgrade that wall if you really want to try to stay stick to the budget. I have tested the AoE, so if you if you manage to get it right in the middle, they will hit all the zombies. Now she she the hungry zombie is very very has very high HP pool, probably among it, the the highest actually of all the regular zombies. So if you see a lot of big mamas, you you may want to throw two pipe bombs down there. What you can also do, the reason why this is here, I forgot to mention this. You can throw right into it, and it will drop right in the middle. Ah, now I remember why I want that thing to be there. Yes, it's it's very good. Just throw right into it full force. It will drop right in the middle of the area. So if they are splitting up and going in all the corners, you can do that to make sure they drop straight down. And of course, that is on the fifth block. Uh, so it's right in the middle, but it's turned towards... Uh, the zombies so it's it's like a like it's a quarter block this is on the the side towards the zombies also I've noticed I've been splitting my stacks but we are down to 12 pipe bombs here 
We have only been using 28. And they are about to break through, so you definitely want that concrete. If you get, can get it reinforced concrete, you really don't have to worry. And it's still, we still have the buff here. Of course, getting three atom junkies on day 14 is it's a little unnecessary. It really depends how many you've found and how many pipe bombs you have. Is that the last zombie? I think that is the last zombie. No more zombies, so bye-bye with you. So we used 30, 30 pipe bombs for that. Sure, I went down and added those blocks right there. But if you have a concrete, you don't have to worry. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to upgrade this to reinforce concrete. And then we're going to run day 70. And I'm going to give myself uh, a couple of levels. Levels enough that I can get, you know, demolished. I can get rocket man. That's really all I need. Which I can already get. Amazing. I literally don't need more levels right now in terms of the offensive. Of course, if you want to make a lot of pipe bombs, you want to have more minus 69er, mother load. And of course, for whatever like combat prowess you want while looting. But like I mentioned before, minus 69 is so good because you can also you also level up the fire axe. So it's very, very good weapon now. It, it scales very well. Strength scales with uh, the headshot damage and the decap chance. And of course, this adds to the overall damage. Ah, oh, my mistake. The Horde Knight wasn't actually over. I think a couple of zombies got stuck somewhere. Two zombies there. So, yeah, they got stuck. So I had to use one more pipe bomb. There we go. That was the last of it. Alright, so we are down here. Uh, I just want to mention one more thing. Um, since they are attacking this wall a lot, I would just recommend putting plates on there as well. So I'm going to start replacing this with the concrete. Yeah, reinforced concrete like this. And then, of course, you can just put the plates right on top of this wall, going up about three, four blocks. Now, when you do this, they're probably going to start attacking other walls. <laughs> so, uh, you're just going to have to get plates on other areas. The thing is... You can't put two plates in a corner, so you may have to do a ramp. But that's not really going to work, because then they, they can't really fall through properly. So maybe plates is just going to hurt you in the end. So I'm going to I'm gonna show this without plates. Uh, so we're probably going to get a lot of cops now, so you want to also upgrade uh, the blocks here that will probably take... Go away. They're probably going to take some AoE damage from cops uh, if the cops do explode down here, which is fine. Also, explosives don't set off demos, so you don't have to worry about that. And because the way I've also made it to round out so it's going to be perfect squares, you could, of course, fill this in completely as well. Of course, also, don't forget to upgrade your little bridge area. Um, you can use a an actual drawbridge here for the late game as well. So I'm also going to make sure to upgrade this part, uh, just in case, uh, this part, and, well, you probably don't want flagstone here, but honestly, it's fine, uh, but, you know, let's put some cobblestone on it, just, just to be safe. I don't have to do all of it, just some of it, and also make sure that the, 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 the tips are upgraded as well, because if they do break... Uh, the pathing to you will also break. But you have two of them, so th there's also a reason. There's a little bit of redundancy there. So that's good. And now, since we are also doing day 70, I should be digging down. But I don't think I need to do that to show you how this works and how good this still is going to hold up on day 70. Um, I'm just going to bank the fact that this is going to work anyway. Uh, I, I may get some cops spit on me, but you get the idea. Just, if you want to make it even better, just dig down. You know, just, sorry, I'm just a little lacy. Just dig down, guys. It's going to be, if you want to make it even better. All right. Um, since it is day 70, I'm assuming that you do have some steel by day 70. So let's, let's just show this also with some steel. So I'm just going to do this row right here. This is the the row that's going to take the most damage. So just 
you know, this is the only one you need to upgrade. But they do pile up, uh, up, up, up on each other like you saw, so maybe the third row as well it would be important later on. But for day 70, I think this is going to be more than fine. And also, if you do want to make it lower, what you can do um, is to also put a tip here. And that tip is going to make the pipe bombs fall a little bit nicer towards the middle. But I also show you the trick here to throw it right into uh, to that. But it does take longer to charge it up and keep doing this than to do this. Right? Like that. They do split up a little bit, but it's fine. Like, once we get higher up here now in day 70, you're going to have to use a little bit more pipe bombs to make sure to get all those kills. Uh, but you, you you shouldn't be able, you shouldn't need to use more than five at a time. I'm just gonna put a uh, a a roof here, uh, just so you see how it will look later on to deal with the birds. And you only need to make sure where you're standing. You're standing right here, so just a couple of blocks right above you is upgraded. The rest can be flagstone. It doesn't actually matter. Alright, there we have it right there. I'm just going to put some spikes up here. Um, you can, you're probably fine with wood spikes, but since it's day 70, I'm just going to put a few here. Just make it like a 3x3. Three three. That's more than enough. Or put a, um, a turret right there, uh, aiming towards that. Just going to put a little nice wood door there. Alright, let's go. I'm going to give myself 100 pipe bombs. There you go, a hundred pipe bombs. And of course at this stage, you should probably have some candies. So I'm gonna do another three candies. And um, you probably would have Demolitions Expert at this point, but I... The fifth rank of all these perks are usually not worth it because the amount of of extra points it takes to get there is quite a bit. So I like to stop at seven and just score four out of five. Uh, this particularly works very well with, uh, with, you know, with, with weapons because you can't, the fifth never really like unlocks better crafting. Uh, it usually stops at four. So four is ideal in my opinion. So let's just go. Also, I do have to mention one more thing. Of course, I need to level for for my game stage to be higher. Otherwise, this is going to be all botched. So, I am 148 right now. Uh, that was not really what I was going for, but you do get the idea. My game stage is freaking high right now. You're not going to be this high game stage on, uh, on day 70. But... Just to write, really ride home the point, let's 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 try this. Let's just try the more extreme. All right, guys, wish me luck. Oh, just want to do one, two, three, four, and you want to light the fifth one. Oh, there was a block I forgot. Whoops. That's fine. That's. Fine. There we go. 11,000 experience. See, the, the, the spiders tried to jump. It can't because of uh, the slit right there and also the poles. Oh, they really, really do love that corner. Okay, I think I need to go a little faster here. 15k. You can already start, like, putting the, the, the pipe bombs down here. You don't want to have them spend too much time, you know, making dam getting damage down here. Okay, that is a first stack though, so that that was pretty quick. I may need more than a hundred. But I think this is pretty much proven the point. That block has taken quite a bit of damage though. So, I wasn't expecting to go up at uh, this high of a game stage. So, maybe you do need those plates after all. Maybe I have to do a test with the pipe bombs, uh, with the plates as well. Uh, 
Okay, we're two stacks. Yeah, I'm, I'm two stacks already, less than an hour. Yeah, that's not a good sign. But if you're day 70, you probably have eaten super easy access to make hundreds of pipe bombs. Um, just reminder, the pipe bomb only costs 12 gunpowder. So, yeah, if you can get like 10,000 gunpowder, which you easily can mine at this stage, yeah, you're, you're good to go. Uh, no cops though, so that that was unfortunate. Kind of wanted to see if they were gonna snipe me or not. Oh, so they can sometimes fall back in like this, so you need to be ready with some sort of gun just in case it didn't die from the explosion. You know, it could be a white, so it's fully possible that they could survive the explosion. Uh, that's also another reason why you wanted to have further down, because the further down the pit is, the lesser chance there is for them to, you know, fall back in like that. Now well, that is three of them. Uh, you definitely want a little bit more. Well, let's let's try though. Let's try. So our max health right now is 551. That's the radiated. No, actually 900 from the mo there. Okay, so that is at least two pipe bombs. Uh, three pipe bombs. So let's try that. All right, he's gonna survive. Oh, he did survive that. So you need you need around five, but probably not more than that. Also, they do generate, so you know. Ah. Okay, they've destroyed two blocks now. But if this was double, like, you can pat it from the outside. That, now that I think about it, that's probably the best approach here. Just pat it from the outside, and you should be fine. There's plenty of space to do that. Oh, wow. That is 80 pipe bombs so far. Well, this didn't turn to very budget base all of a sudden. But... You know, a hundred pipe bombs is still just 1,200, 1,200 gunpowder, which is nothing. And a gunpowder, a pipe bomb is literally one pipe and one plant fiber. So a hundred pipe, short iron pipes is nothing. 1,200 gunpowder is nothing, especially if you can make the stacks. This is essentially a stack and a half. So at this stage of the game, you shouldn't really have to worry about it. You can have 500 pipe bombs and be fine. So just, just g g go nuts, go nuts. Don't hold back guys, go nuts. What's stopping you? Of course, you can also have that last level of demolitions expert. That sure doesn't hurt. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend I had another hundred. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're getting some bikers. My whole point with this showcase is to drive, really drive home the point how ridiculously good this build is. And, you know, I am level 149. Well, as you know it, I've barely spent any points. Oh, they're actually through. Oh, yeah. So you want a little bit more steel. If you ever want to do day 70 with 260 game stage, yeah, you're probably going to need a little bit more. Oh, we're getting our first demos. Oh, perfect. Don't let them through. Oh, it's coming down now. birds okay okay yeah okay this is that we screwed up <laughs> yeah we screwed up yeah that's the flaw of doing that of course this should all be freaking oh look at that they're still pathing down to the pit 
Oh, bless the wood door, guys. Bless the wood door. Yeah, of course, if you want to have all your loot in that room, don't leave it that as flagstone, of course. You know. Of course not. That is silly. Uh, so now we've created this loop here. Uh, this is this is not good. Uh, let, let me fix that real quick. We had to do a stress test. We just had to. Oh, are they gonna get through though? Probably not. Oh, don't hit me now. Am I in god mode? Oh, probably not. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well. Ah, this would be a funny blooper, though. Yeah, just, just go, just go ham, guys. Oh, did I like that? Ah, see? We sealed it off. Great. Just pretend that was steel all along. It's fine. And honestly, the more you just, the often you light them, uh, the less damage they'll deal because they'll spend most of the time being stunned anyway. Bless the wood door. Now that's a lot of bags. Come on, demo. Let's go. No, don't do that. <laughs> I think I'm in god mode. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be in god mode, by the way. But I haven't taken any, like, spit damage, I think. So that's 200 pipe bombs. Still nothing if you think about the resources used here. Uh, really, the only thing you have to worry about is the crafting time of gunpowder and pipe bombs. I'm not quite sure what it is for pipe bombs. Uh, it is 12 seconds, so yeah, you don't really have to worry. But gunpowder, on the other hand, does take some time to make, so... In between Horde Nights, you definitely want to... Yeah, we got that bird up there. You definitely want to want to do some mining. You know, if you can mine, like, a stack of, of coal and nitrate between every Horde Night, you're more than fine. Alright, and the beautiful thing about this build is it doesn't use lead or brass. And brass is the thing that people mostly struggle with in the late game, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, of course, the floor should not be cobblestone, but I don't think I have to point that out. Lazy test is lazy. Oh, they're through! Oh, no! <laughs> ah, shit! Or are they? Oh my lordy! By the power of God mode. There we are. Ah. Okay, they're good. Okay, it's fine. No, no, no. Yeah, you just fall down. You fall down. I just wish the stack count was a little higher on the pipe bombs. But of course, if you really want to do that, you can easily mod that. If you want to. I bet a lot of people do. Uh, there's also simple stack mods out there. Oh, they're getting through? No, not yet. Oh, took some damage there. Yeah, they're really starting to dig now. I'm getting down there. This base is sort of hovering right now because there's no support. Yeah, 
You should absolutely have support all the way down. Oh, shit. Twenty one K, beautiful. Let's see if I can survive the horde night here. I mean, I should. There shouldn't really be any strange stuff going on right now. It should pretty much be the same. Uh, we're almost done. Three hundred pipe bombs here. Oh, they're through. Okay, they're through down there. So they're not gonna get stuck. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I think that showcase is still the point. The the base works. It's just uh, lazily made. I apologize. Also, the game stage is way too high. You you will never have that high of a game stage at day 70. Uh, you won't. Like you will maybe have 150. Depending you may be playing with 300% experience, I don't know. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. <laughs> I'm going to leave some timestamps so you can uh, check how that went. Um I also want to try this on a Horde Night every night sort of setup. I think this would work very well with that. So, maybe I'll release a part two of this video and we'll try to do a legit playthrough. Um, but we're going to do Horde Night every night just to see how this goes. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. It ran a little bit longer than I initially thought. I wish you a very lovely day, and I'll see you next time. All right, take care. Bye.